Everybody and welcome back to another episode of Matt's Cold TED Talks. Ha, huh, gotcha. We're not actually back at school anymore. We're now back here at home. Also, I would never tape in vertical. So joke's on you for thinking that. So the reason we're not back at school anymore and I'm sitting in front of a concrete wall is because school got shut down. Amid concerns of the coronavirus, they pushed the date that we would be moving out from April 17th to April 3rd, and then from April 3rd to Friday. And now here we are. Some other things that I feel like I need to address before we start the main content of this video is I got a hate comment last, last video. The comment comes to us from a user called Dumpster Fire and says, don't quit your day job. Well, joke's on you. My day job is a student. My whole job is literally just to sit there and study. I'm not quitting my, quote, day job, but I don't do this for money. I do it because I'm bored. So your argument's invalid. Furthermore, in response to my video about the Mormons, BYU has decided to not allow people to be openly gay anymore. You know, it's funny. I tell them the one thing that they can do to make people hate them less, and they do the exact opposite. Finally, I got a rolly chair, which means I can finally do this. Whee! You're a bro. That is not very nice. So this video is gonna be more about the coronavirus because let's face it, it's what's on everybody's mind. We might as well talk about it, yes? Very cool. All right, so first off, we gotta start off with what is a coronavirus. Some of you probably already know this, uh, some of you may not. Coronaviruses are the causes of flus throughout the country every single year. It's really not that big of a deal. You catch one, it goes away within a couple of weeks and you're fine and back on your feet again. The reason why this one is a problem is because we don't have a vaccine for it yet, like we do with SARS or MERS, which were two previous outbreaks that occurred in China and the Middle East. And the coronavirus is not the name of the actual sickness. The name of the actual sickness is COVID-19, and it's caused by the coronavirus. So in the last video, George Foreman Girls went over different ways to protect yourself. The best thing that you can do with viruses like this is treat the symptoms, right? He did a sucky job though, so I'm doing it correctly. First of all, washing your hands, that's a big one. The germs can only survive on your hands for five to 10 minutes, but think about how many times you can touch your face in a period of five to 10 minutes. Don't do it, because that's a really stupid decision, but just, just think about it. And so if you wash your hands, you can immediately kill the germs as detergents in these hand cleaning soaps and sanitizers it can kill the virus. Coronaviruses are known for being notoriously weak, and so they can easily be killed. Unfortunately, and this is where the smartphone addiction comes in, if the coronavirus is on a piece of metal, it can survive for up to six hours. Now, this is a problem because think about how often you use your smartphone. Think about how many of you are actually watching this on a smartphone right now. Uh, that's a little swifty. <laughs> You know what I mean? However, Apple has given all of its users consent, and now you can clean your phone using Lysol wipes. Lysol wipes, don't use them on your butt. Use them on your phone. Right, you ignorant slut! The only problem is, however, Lysol wipes are sold out at just about every ma major retailer in the United States of America. <laughs> but if you look in the back of your mom's linen closet, you may come across some use them wisely. Now, I know you probably have seen people wearing masks. They look like some variant of this and they don't actually do anything. Duh. Whenever you're talking to a person with coronavirus and they sort of spit at you, as long as you're standing about 10 feet away from them, you're gonna be fine. The virus can only travel about 10 feet through the air. And although it's dangerous to stand any closer than 10 feet, Honestly, like, the, the chances of this vapor hitting you are quite small unless they cough or sneeze at you. Now let's talk about the economic effects of this virus. I took an economics class throughout my winter term at college, and so obviously I'm an expert. So economically, the stocks are looking pretty good. Bad. Bad. Very, very bad. The stock market right now is obviously quite bad. If you haven't looked at it recently, don't. 
it'll only depress you. But the market has become something called a bear market, which is where market prices drop 20%. This means that people are not buying or selling goods because they are not confident about the future. Why are they not confident about the future? Because there's a rampant virus moving through the United States, infecting just about everybody it touches. Stop freaking out. To those of you who have invested in the stock market, do not sell into a falling market, okay? That is a stupid decision. You are going to lose money. It is not economically sound at all. What you need to do is just leave your money in the stock market. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, why am I taking stock market advice from a college student? Because listen, if you take your money out of the stock market right now, it's going to be less than you put into the stock market. If you keep your money in the stock markets right now, as soon as there's a vaccine for this virus, as soon as the whole thing is over, the markets are going to make a V-shaped recovery, okay? They're going to shoot back up. Why? Because everybody's going to get super confident about the future. That's how it works. So for those of you freaking out economically, chill out. It's going to be fine. Finally, let's talk about the politics of the coronavirus as well as COVID-19. Stop it. Stop it with the partisanship. Stop it with the, this virus favors black people. It doesn't favor anyone, all right? If you touch it, you're gonna get infected. Some of you are looking at President Trump's plans to contain the virus and you're saying, this isn't working, this is bad. President Trump needs to be evicted right now. We need Joe Biden. No, that's not helping at all, okay? That's, that's helping nothing. You're freaking people out. What you need to be doing is realizing what he's doing. In this graph released by the University of Michigan, you can see two curves. The first curve is if we do nothing, all right? If we go out to giant venues and have big parties and we don't wash our hands and we start licking doorknobs, that's what the first curve is going to be. From the time that the coronavirus started until now, people will be infected in this sort of way. A lot of people very quickly and then it's going to overwhelm that straight line in the middle. That straight line in the middle represents hospitals carrying capacity, the number of ICU beds. Now, obviously this shouldn't be a straight line because as time goes on, we get more ICU beds, more masks, more tests. But right now, this is, this is kind of what we got. And then the bottom curve is using preventative measures that the CDC and the World Health Organization and President Trump are trying to push. It's the same amount of people getting infected, but the curve is a lot flatter and a lot longer, okay? And as a result, it doesn't go over that straight line, which is the healthcare's potential capacity. If we go over that capacity, we have to start rationing supplies and more people die. I don't know about you, but I'm personally on the side of people not dying. Duh. Joe Biden in a speech earlier this week said that he is angry at President Trump's plan because it's not stopping the spread of the virus. Uh, it's slowing it down. His travel restrictions are only slowing down the virus. We're not trying to stop the spread of the virus. We're trying to slow it down so that we can have time to get a vaccine and make sure that the people who need ICU beds have ICU beds. All right. We are by no means trying to stop the spread. I mean, would we like to? Yes, but that is highly unlikely. But if we can slow the spread to the point where it's now below this line right here, it, it makes life a whole lot better for everyone because everybody stays alive. Finally, I'd like to talk about the environmental effects of the virus, which is the environment is getting better. Honestly, the only positives I see to this virus are that China shut down for a few weeks, reducing their emissions to nearly zero, and Italy is shut down right now, also reducing their emissions very, very low. Now that everybody is staying inside and telecommuting to work, I have a feeling this will happen sort of the same way to the US. Uh, the only problem with this whole environmental positive thing is that it disrupts the supply chain. People make less and as a result, the economy suffers. Guys, I'm sorry this video wasn't exactly all that funny, but I feel like hopefully I've quelled some of your fears. You're not going to die from this virus. You're going to get through it in one to two weeks and everything is gonna be fine. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We currently have 105 subscribers, which is a number that I never thought I would say. And yet here we are. So that's pretty cool. Again, if we get to 150, my roommate will stop vaping. Yes, he and I are not roommates at the current moment, but we are rooming together next year. Hopefully I can get him on to a TED talk. That'd be pretty cool. In addition, if you'd like to like or comment on this video or click the bell icon to give yourself notifications so you know whenever I post another TED talk, um, I'd really appreciate that as well. Thank you so much for watching and uh, older Matt, take it away. Stay safe out there.
Thank you.